Chem 102 lab students. This is the demonstration video of experiment 15.1 and essentially experiment 15.2. I will demonstrate the solution preparation and what the data acquisition looks like. This video will be in addition to the supplemental videos I hope you watched already, like the how to use a volumetric flask and the UVVis spectrophotometer on Red Shelf. This experiment will be performed in two parts. 15.1 is to create a calibration curve, which will enable you to determine the concentration of iron thiocyanate. To begin, we must get our solutions ready. We will prepare a one dram scintillation vial with 15 mils of one molar nitric acid. This nitric acid will be located in the chemical fume hood. We can use a five mil micro pipette to measure out our chemical. It must be adjusted to pick up exactly five milliliters. Be sure to use the correct size tips. Gently insert the micropipette into the tip, lower the tip into the solution, and fill the vial. Dispose of the tip in a 400 milliliter beaker that will serve as a waste holder. Be sure to cap both the vial and the stock bottle when complete. A 10 milliliter volumetric flask should be obtained with a cap. These will generally be located at the front of the lab room. Remember, these are used for precise solutions and preparation of standard solutions. It is important to rinse the flask with nitric acid two to three times to remove any residual chemicals or water that can affect our concentration of iron nitrate solution. After this is complete, add three to five mils of nitric acid to the volumetric flask. We will weigh out our iron nitrate nonahydrate. This solid is stored in a desiccator. These are sealable enclosures used to protect chemicals, which are hygroscopic. We must weigh out 1.5 grams. This solid should be colorless. Any more color, tint of pink or yellow, it means it is decomposed. We add the solid to our volumetric flask using a funnel. Once the solid has been added, we can rinse the edges of the volumetric flask neck to dissolve our solid. We can stopper the flask with the yellow cap and with our thumb holding the top cap in place, invert the flask several times to make a homogeneous solution. Carefully fill the 10 milliliter volumetric flask to the mark located on the neck of the flask. Using the appropriately labeled scintillation vial, obtain 5 milliliters of 2 times 10 to the negative third molar sodium thiocyanate solution located in the chemical fume hood. Obtain 6 plastic cuvettes, 6 cuvette lids, and a stand. Be sure to label the caps 1 through 5 that will correspond to the solutions on table 15.1. Cap 6 will be the blank, or nitric acid solution. Rinse each cuvette with distilled water and then with one molar nitric acid solution. All rinses should be added to the unwanted materials beaker. Once they are ready, using the micropipettes, transfer the appropriate volume of each solution to the cuvette. Table 15.1 will show us the different volumes needed in each cuvette. We must ensure to use a new pipette tip every time there's a switch of stock solutions. We recommend filling all the cuvettes with one stock solution before switching tips and adjusting the volumes each time as needed. Once complete with the solution, the tip can be discarded. Cap the vials not in use.
Once all the solutions are prepared, we will notice a slight but important color difference. We will wait two to three minutes before making any measurements. Our next step to completing our lab is to connect the Vernier GoDirect SpectroVis Plus to the computer. We will be calibrating the spectrophotometer first. At the home window of our Spectral Analysis 4 software, we will click Absorbance versus Wavelength, Full Spectrum. The Calibrate window will appear. It may ask you to wait for the lamp to warm up. Once it is, the window will read Finish Calibration. We should place the blank cuvette into the spectrometer. You must align the cuvette in the spectrophotometer and be sure not to place the ridges in the path of the light. Once the blank cuvette has been inserted, click Finish Calibration and your absorption spectrum should read zero. You will take the remaining cuvettes and collect their absorbances. Rotate the cuvette 180 degrees and collect three measurements total for each cuvette. You should have 15 measurements, three for each cuvette, once you have finished. All the solutions will be discarded in the liquid waste. Glassware will be thoroughly rinsed and returned to its appropriate location. You will be sent mock data for experiment 15.1. Please work diligently, paying attention to values and concentrations when reporting it. Good luck completing the in-lab.